Okay, page eight, The Sleepy Witch. This is in Bastion Performance Level One. We're in the key of F now. Do a quick demo and then we'll talk about it. Okay, this piece is very repetitive. The melody, there's four lines in this, 16 measures, and that melody takes one line, and that happens three times. So once you've got that down, you're good. Let's take a look at it. We're starting on A, and it steps up to B flat, step up to C, skip down to F, and then walks back up to B flat. So it's like everything's stepping up, there's one skip down to let us step up some more. Step up, skip down, and continue stepping up. Then we start on the C and walk down. Skip the G and come back to it. This is a lot like the ending of the Happy Seal in the Technic book. So you're coming down, skip the G, come back to the G, step up to the A and F. One more time. Once you have that line learned, which is two phrases, you have three quarters of the piece for the right hand learned. Um, now the left hand does the same in each one of those two. It's whole notes on F, whole notes on C, whole notes on C, and then half note B flat, half note A. That happens two times. The third time, when you hit that A, you add the pinky to give it some finality. A nice little cadence at the end. Uh, we're gonna look at the third line now where we've got F, G sharp, A. That happens in both hands. It wants you to use 5, 3, 2 in the left hand and 1, 2, 3 in the, in the right hand, which makes sense because you would be playing the G, but it's sharp. Then you, right after that, Remember, the bar line takes away all the accidental before, and so when you get to the words, where's your black cat, great lyrics, um, you're back to G natural. When you hit that C, you're just going to aim for these two black keys, the G flat and the B flat with two and four. You get that time to set up. When uh, The third line, your left hand just plays... And then you can go ahead and get set up with these two. So hit that C and add that. Then you know the whole song. The one part that might be a little tricky is the end of each line. When you're ending with G, A, F, you've got quarter, quarter, half, and your left hand is going half, half. So just make sure that for those two quarters, that's not actually difficult. Do that a few times. And then from there, they both go down. But the tricky part is the right hand skips down and the left hand steps down. So we have similar motion, but similar is when they're in different degrees. Like, similar is always going to be a little bit more tricky. So you've got G. And you can practice that as slowly as you need to, as deliberately as you need to, to make sure that you have, once you do it a few times, very deliberately, you'll be really impressed with yourself about how fast you can get to going right up to tempo. All right, so that's how to play Sleepy Witch. Have fun with it.